In this video, I'm going to show you how to create UI or user interface in VR. UI can be used to make menus, settings panels, inventory systems, and much more in VR. Stick around until the end to learn how. Let's get started. So UI or user interface is very important in VR, and it can be used to give the user or player different ways of interacting with the environment, objects, and much more. Usually in Unity, what you have is the canvas system for UI. And we're going to be using that same system, but we're going to be adding some modifications to it so it works for VR. The first thing we want to do is create a canvas in our scene. And then we want to remove the graphic raycaster component and add something called the OVR raycaster, which is a script that comes with the Oculus package. From there, what we want to do is import an object called UI helpers. We're going to look it up in the search bar. And as you can see, there it is. We're just going to drag it into our project. And we're going to go under it. And as you can see, it already has an event system. So we're going to delete this one. After that, we're going to go to the UI helpers. And we're going to go to the sphere, which is going to be the tip of the pointer for UI. And we're going to increase its size so it's more visible. And then after that, we're going to go to the laser pointers. And from there, we want to make them visible by enabling the line renderer. And you can see that it has a missing material. So I'm just going to add a random one from the selection. Next on, I'm going to go and edit the laser pointer script. And you can just follow along and do the same thing that I do. I'm just going to add the serialize field on top of the laser beam behavior. And what that does is it allows us to select it in the editor. And as you can see now, it's you can view it and you can select. And we're going to choose on when hit target. So it turns on and it's viewable when we are pointing at our canvas. Next, we want to go to our event system and we want to choose the button that we're going to be using to click and I'm going to choose secondary index trigger which is going to be the trigger of the right controller. After that we're going to go back to our canvas and we're going to select world space and that's going to make the canvas appear as an object instead of as an overlay over our screen. And then we're going to drag the center eye anchor into the event camera. After that what we want to do is change the width and height to 1000 and we want to put it at 0, 0, 0, which is where our floor and player is. And we're going to decrease the scale to 0 0.001 for all components. Now if we turn on the gizmos, we can see that the canvas is a good size and it's at the correct location. So what we want to do next is we want to add some components to the canvas. Let's add a background image first. Let's just rename it to background. And then from there, we're just going to change the source image to this. And we're going to put the width to 1000, 1000, which is the width and height of the canvas. After that, we're going to add some buttons. And we're going to increase their size so they look bigger on the canvas. And then we're going to increase the text size. So it's more viewable. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this button just so we have more stuff on our canvas. And you can always add any UI component and you can interact with it using the UI helpers just like you would with a mouse on a regular computer. So we're going to add a slider and let's increase its scale so it's more viewable to three. Perfect. We now have the canvas and all the components on it. And the last thing that we have to do is just go to the canvas itself. And then from there, what we want to do is add the component, uh, the laser pointer to the OVR Raycaster script. And there you have it. We are now ready to test on the headset. 
So let's go and see if it works. Now that we're in the headset, you can now see that we have our canvas and the UI helper appears when we point towards it. And if we point to the side, you won't see it. And that's because we chose on when hit target for the laser beam behavior. So there you have it. You can now interact with UI in VR. If you would like more advanced tutorials on UI, please let me know in the comments. And if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.